hello we are in the home page of our uh, moodle site by the site name is fundamentals.moodlecloud.com in this uh, already by default there will be a course introduction to moodle i have created a course 18 easy 405 control system in this video we will be seeing how to edit the contents and uh, in this course uh, 18 easy 405 control system how to add the content in word format pdf format ppt file and youtube links and image to the uh, to the content of this course so i will click the course 18 ec 405 so and now i will go into the course page this i can identify from the left side i can see ces this is a short form i have given for control system okay this this icon is very important here the turn editing should be always on right Okay, initially it will be in the off state, we cannot edit anything, there won't be any pen mark after the module or welcome all symbol. So what I do is, I go to the gear icon, I click it, I will turn editing on. Now we can see the, uh, the pen mark, right, editing symbol. So if I want to edit the content, let me say module 1. Okay, I want to change it to unit 1, I will edit the topic. Okay, I can just click that pen, I can say it's unit 1 or chapter 1 or else I can go to the edit, edit topic, edit topic is the complete way you can edit the description also, instead of module I can say unit 1, then I can edit the content, right, if I want to edit, already I have typed these things, I can edit, and remember, um, this is an, uh, this is a toolbox, right, here we can see so many options are there. I can edit the link. I can add and insert an image. I can insert an video link. I can record a sound. I can record a video. But you cannot record a video easily because only 200 megabytes is permitted uh, for, the, for the entire Moodle site that you have created, right? So if you record a video, that itself will be occupying the major of the uh, memory, memory, okay, major part of the memory. So you can add the YouTube link. That will be the best option to go. Now I have described the course. Then I will save this save changes. Then I'll click the save changes. Now, see, uh, see, there are unit one, topic two, topic three. is so default, right? You can convert it to unit two, unit three, unit four. And remember, you can add an activity or resource, right, for each course. So I will click this. While editing is enabled only, you will get this symbol, right? Now you click the plus mark, an activity or resource window will open. Here, here only we are going to add the activities for the students. It can be like assignments, we can chat with the students. You can add any of this. By just clicking, you can add any of this. But now we are going to add the resource content only, right? So resource content is below here. You scroll it down. You can see, uh, like, uh, you can see file. Yes, file. Right, you click the file and you add. It goes to a new window. Okay, right. It's asking what is the name of the file. It I can say this is for the content for unit one. Content for unit one. This is the uh, name of the file I can uh, given. And if you can describe few words, right? It covers the end first chapter. It covers the it covers the entire first chapter the entire first chapter once you have typed this here you can select the file right you just uh, you can add the file or you can drag also from any folder just you can keep it here add it is showing no okay click there it will say whether you are uploading from the server or recent files or upload files you just click the upload file and it will asking choose the file okay you go to the folder where you have pasted the content right i have kept, kept the chapter one in this folder cit mooc so i go to that folder i select that i click that that file will become name will be coming here in the file name now i will now i will be opening it okay now cit one sorry chapter one uh, docx is, uh, is is here now i can upload this file okay now file has been uploaded right once it is uploaded i can say save and return to the course next we will see how to upload a youtube link right for that what i have to do is 
I can go to the URL. Yes, URL is here. Just you add. You can even refer books also, right? Relevant YouTube video. Relevant YouTube videos. Okay. What is the URL? I will take it from the link. Right. Just a moment. I have to search it. I have my own video. I will be taking from that link. It for the take it from the videos. Okay. It's looking the relevant video. Yes. I will take this video. I copy the link. I come back here. I will paste it. Then I will say choose a link. Okay, I have pasted it, right? That's it. Once I have pasted, I can save and return to the course. Now I added the YouTube link also. Likewise, you can do, right? And remember. Add an activity is under for each unit, right? For unit 2, it is here. For unit 3, it is here, right? For each chapter, you can add. And it is not only for PDF files and YouTube videos. There is so many contents you can explore. Even you can add your assignments. Assignments like in any format, like Word format, PDF format, students can submit. And even you can keep the quiz format. Like true or false, multiple choice question, fill in the blanks. Okay, there are so many ways you can explore these things. And remember the content you are going to upload in the... Model uh, course should be in should be of Creative Commons licensing, right? That is, it should be free to use. If it is a licensed content, we may get into trouble. So while searching, you ensure that you are get you are searching only the uh, Creative Commons open to use license content. That's it.